usfcougars.com here with Catlin Sautel. Just won the NSIC heptathlon title, tied your school record, set a new record in the 100 meter hurdles. What's That's a lot to take in. What was that experience like? Um, well, it was pretty cool. Uh, hurdles, I didn't even expect anything really out of it. I just ran a clean race probably for the first time in a couple of years, honestly. And so just kind of went faster than I thought it would go, and which was great. I mean, that was probably the best event of that day, along with my 200. Um, my jumps and my throw was not very good, so I was way behind the first day. So I had to pick it up the next day, which I was kind of worried about, but it went up really well. Yeah, and you talked about you're a little worried you'd finished four times second place at the NSIC multi-event, either pentathlon or heptathlon. Was that ever in your head or did you trust, I mean, you stomped on the javelin, then you won the 800 meter too. Was that any bit of doubt in your mind when you were going into day two? Um, going into day two, yes. I was worried. I was like, oh, well, I might get another second place, which would kind of stink, but you know, it's still just great being there and be able to compete. So even if I wouldn't have won, I still would have been okay with it. Um, but I did win, and so it was a lot more exciting than um, it could have been. And going into day two, I, like I said, I was pretty worried. Um, but then long jump, I jumped farther than the person who was in front of me, and that helped me gain some points on her. And going into jab, um, just throwing a bit farther than her really kind of settled it off for me. And then 800, I just knew I had to win it to ensure. And so I did, and it went really well. So. And so you're right now, you're, it was a provisional qualifying mark, you're number eight in division two, so all but guaranteed you're gonna go because everyone above you is an auto mark, yeah. so you're the top <laughs> non-auto, which is really impressive. So, and you would get, you've yet to go to a outdoor national championship, you've been to three indoor national championships, so what are the feelings like that, knowing you have two more weeks, uh, well you have one week of regular season with Howard Wood Relays this weekend, then next weekend we're hosting the NSIC championships. How are you gearing up for that? Um, well, still training through it, um, not doing quite as much, but still doing like four events this weekend, so it's kind of kind of be the same as it's been all season. And then the week before conference, probably just work technical stuff all week. Um, but I'm super excited to have a chance to go outdoors. I've never been outdoors, um, and so I'm just ready and raring to go. No matter how it ends up, I'm just excited to be able to have the opportunity. And let's take a look at uh, academically. You're an education major. You, you're a senior. So, what's your experience at USF been like? Um, it's been great. I love it here. I don't want to leave, but it's time to move on and do other things. Um, I'll still be in Sioux Falls. So I'll probably be around the track guys every once in a while, just hanging out, working out with them every once in a while. But um, yeah, being at USF has probably been the highlight. My life probably I don't know it's just really brought me closer to God and to all these people that I've met it's been amazing and I wouldn't change it for the world That's great. and is track gonna be something you're gonna compete in afterwards like you're gonna run the Howard Wood relays unattached or do some things like that that's the plan I'm not ready to be done competing yet um, I probably won't do as many meets just cuz obviously I'm not on the team I'll have other things to do other priorities but yeah, I'm going to keep training and keep working out with the team every once in a while and uh, compete as much as I can because I just love it too much to stop. That's <laughs> no awesome. No matter how much toll it takes on my body, I'm not ready to be done. That's awesome. Well, good luck this weekend at Hardwood Relays. Great job. You're the NSIC Athlete of the Week as well. And then uh, good luck in conference and nationals. Thank you.